Hi all, welcome to my video. In this video, we will be working with this part. Just before this video, I made a part which has very similar characteristic to this one. But in this video, we will use one extra command. So let's start. We open a new part. And here in the form plate, we create a sketch. And then we pick a circle. Dimensions will be 40. Then we go features, we change direction, we activate team feature and change the direction of it inwards. Thickness is 4, length is 70. So after this operation I'm going to create a plane. We have create, have create an extra plane by using our bottom surface at the height of 8. So then I select this plane, I create a sketch, I convert this edge to a uh, sketch, and then I close my sketch, go to next step, helix. So in this time we have a pitch of 216 uh, and the revolution is only 0.25. That means we are going to use a quarter of an helix. So this is OK. Now we need to create here one sketch which is going to help us when we position our hole. Something like this. Like an L shape here in the top plane according to my orientation. We made the construction geometry. We select point. So we select helix and point and we say pierce. So this point then will be attached to the beginning of our helix. So it is OK. We go to hole wizard. We select a hole which has a diameter of 6 positions. So I drop it to our surface, outer surface, and I press my control. I select two points while presses the control is pressed. And I will make coincident. Then I close my sketch operation. And then we are good to go to the next step. If you could follow till this moment, you are quite advanced in the operation and the rest will be just simple operation. So the new command here is curve driven pattern. So this will be the curve and this will be the feature. So we want to copy it uh, along uh, our outer surface. Face normal will be as outer face, tangent to curve, offset curve is active, equal spacing active, and we will have eight instances. So if you change, instances is changing. So we say it's OK. And then we go to circular pattern and select a circular edge. And this will be our uh, feature that we would like to copy. So I made here 10 time and I say OK. Yeah, at the end you have this nice figure. I hope you could follow it and the last operation just a chamfer. If you select, sometimes it might ask you to select all the uh, edges in this kind of complex things but not today. It's fine. We add to time 0.5 chamfers. You might think how you're going to add chamfer inside. It is uh, in terms of production manufacturing is very difficult, but this is a demonstration. So don't bother yourself. We just make some things. And this was it. And I hope you learned something new from this video and you could follow me and build the same part. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.